We're here at Converge 2022, the Low Country Economic Development Summit, where participants are here to learn about investing in the Low Country. John O'Toole has joined me. He is executive director of the Beaufort County Economic Development Corporation. Great event. Are you know you're excited? We're real excited and people are excited. I think they're excited for the news we have to share today and just to be together. I mean, people have been missing just the opportunity to interact. You know, we're encouraging people to be safe, uh, but uh, it's nice for everyone to be together. Your first summit was in 2020, right before COVID hit. And then of course, in last year you didn't have one. So again, now we're back with this economic development summit. So what do you expect to accomplish today? I, I would say the main thing, Robin, is is that we look at it by the numbers. So 75% of our leads come from people already in Beaufort County. So we have the realtors here today and a lot of influential people in the county. Uh, actually, 98% of our finished projects come from, we can trace them back to, a lead from a group like this. So it's important for us to communicate to this audience, uh, the, the profile of a great lead for us. You know, a company, somebody moves here and they want to move their company here. You said earlier that you've got some exciting news to share. Can you give us just a little hint? Exciting news, just a lot of the things that we're doing on marketing, uh, where uh, we've launched a, a headquarters campaign, so we're trying to draw more headquarters, back office operations to uh, Buford County. Um, let's see, other things, uh, some of them are out of the bag, but the things that we're able to do uh, with our affiliation with the South Coast Cyber Center, uh, we're, we're actually uh, going to do a, uh, a pass through Washington, D.C. and Boston, trying to attract cyber securities to the air security companies to the area. Very good. Thank you, John. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Robin. Okay. Good to be with you. And Mike Butler has joined us now. He is with Workforce Development. Actually, the the complete name of the organization it's is... the Low Country Council of Governments, and we're based out of EMC, South Carolina. All right. And your role here today is... My role here today is to really support the Economic Development Commission here in Beaufort and um, as just a steady partner for Workforce Development. And so workforce development, that's a big concept. I it, mean... It is. And, and for us in our program with the, with the COG, we're focused on education, um, employment, and training program. It's a federal funded program for individuals anywhere from 18 years of age and up. And so how does someone find out more about what you do? Is it, do you have a website? What? We have the, our COG website, and we also have our SE Work Centers that most people usually find our staff at. So, so we have a center in Buford, Colleton, and Hampton counties. So tell us about your background. Well, my background, I am originally from the upstate of South Carolina. I've spent uh, 23 years actually in retail in the last 12 years in workforce development. So message to young people. There are plenty of jobs out there, plenty of opportunities. Wow. Take advantage of them. Thank you, Mike Butler, appreciate it. Thank you. Joining me now is Suzanne Dickerson with the Council on Competitiveness and also retired president and CEO of BMW out of Spartanburg. Uh, we have Knut Floor. Welcome on this exciting, mor cold but exciting morning. So I'll begin with you both. They're both the keynote speakers at the event today. So what is going to be your overall message, Knut? My overall message is uh, that we have to bring back manufacturing into the U.S and uh, that South Carolina basically is a manufacturing powerhouse. And uh, now we need to get into the gears and get more competitive as innovation. And I'm going to, to show you or maybe convince you on how to do this. Right. And Suzanne, your role? Well, so it works perfectly to have a program in place through the South Carolina Front Hope for USA Alliance that can help companies to become more competitive. So we have some matching funding for companies who are interested in doing applied research to implement in innovative approaches and improve their competitive position through the State Department of Commerce. And we manage that at the Council on Competitiveness. So we're going to talk to the audience today about either in the public or the private sector, how they can take advantage of that. And so are you enjoying retirement? <laughs> i uh, be honest, as you can see, I'm pretty busy. <laughs> so retirement is, I, I was uh, with BMW for 33 years. Yes. From this point of view, it was time to retire. But uh, I made a decision. I want to dedicate my passion and energy to South Carolina and the workforce development and 
manufacturing development. Very good, very good. Knud and Suzanne, appreciate you being with Thank us today. You. Thank you. And that's a wrap from the Economic Development Summit. A big thank you to all of our guests, our team behind the scenes, WHHI General Manager Jessa Jeremiah, News and Program Manager Lisa Richardson, and Production Assistant Joseph Keith behind the scenes, but most of all to you, our viewers, for watching. Now next week, Betsy McDaniel will be filling in for me because I will be on a mission trip to Honduras, where when I return, you will see me deliver those kazoos to all of the children. Have a good week, everyone. Stay safe and healthy.